Hi guys. This is Donna from Donna's Creative Space. Hey this is Donna from Donna's Creative Space. Hey uh, I gotta remember to turn off my volume on my laptop. Thought I had everything set. Okay, let's see. Let me just try to straighten this out a tiny bit. I thought I had it perfect. All right. There, how's that look? All right, so I am coming to you live from Andover, Massachusetts. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And boy, is that crooked. Gosh, this happened last week, too. Sorry about this. And please, if you... Last week I had someone say I was unprepared for my... They left a comment on YouTube. You know what? Didn't your mother ever teach you that... If you don't have something nice to say, don't say it at all. Oops, that one went further away. But uh, what I must say is that the thing is, is I would be prepared, except I can't see what my, what Facebook is going to look like until I actually hit the live button. I get it all set up and then I hit the live and hang on. And then it changes. So anyway... It looks like, let's see, I think I have it. I think I do. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So if you are watching, say hello. I like to see where people are from. Let me know where you're from. I'm in Andover, Massachusetts today, and it started out sunny, but it is getting dark fast, and I think a storm is a brewing. So just something to look forward to. <laughs> hi ellie you were taught that too oh i had two comments i deleted them because i didn't think the people were very nice i mean you don't have to watch someone's youtube if you don't want to if you don't like it just move on to another one don't you don't have to leave a nasty comment or a mean comment and you know maybe you're an expert at youtube but some of us aren't this is like if you can't say something nice. Exactly. That's how I feel. I was replying to somebody's comment and then I said, you know what? I don't have to stoop to their level. I will just, instead of replying to them and saying, I wanted to say that. Didn't your mother teach you? If you can't say something, you know, I wanted to say that, but I didn't. I just, you know what? I just deleted the comment. Anyway, today I am going to, um, this is the fun in the sun. July paper pumpkin kit, July 2023. If you're watching me live, or actually if you're watching later, it is July 21st, 2023. So like I said, this is the fun in the sun kit. I have heard that, well, I guess I only have to do this on one side really. I have heard that this kit is gorgeous. I haven't seen, I mean, I've seen like people posting pictures ignore it and move on yeah that's what i did ellie i just deleted the troll as they call them all right so all right so this is the paper pumpkin if you're not i know you're familiar ellie but if you're not familiar with paper pumpkin it is a crafting kit that comes to your door oops oh i just tried to pull something off my camera mount <laughs> sorry about that don't leave me a bad comment anyway um, uh, paper pumpkin, it comes to your door every month. You have to subscribe by the 10th. Um, you can go to my Donna's creative space.com. Um, that's my blog, um, my blog post, no, my blog site, I should say. And there is a heading in the top, the, in the top menu that says paper pumpkin, just click on that. And then there's a link for you to sign up if you'd like to sign up. There's, you can go right to a subscribe and be under me on your subscription, which I would love for you to do that. I appreciate your business. So it comes to you every month. It's, um, I think it's like $18 uh, plus shipping and handling. It's like $25 altogether. Uh, maybe 26 it all depends on the tax in your area but um 
yeah, 20, 25, 26 dollars, maybe, maybe 25, 80, something like that. But it comes to your door every month. We don't usually know what it is. Sometimes they give us hints. Like they told us that um, this month was going to be fun. And, you know, just by the title. <gasps> Look at these cards. Oh, it is cute, Ellie. These are adorable. So if you got this, you are um, very lucky. Now, if you want to get Paper Pumpkin, you have to sign up by the 10th of the month. If you want to cancel or you can put your subscription on hold. So let's say you join today. You can't get this one because it's already gone. But sometimes they post them on the Stampin' Up! website. Um, my, mine is donnasingleton.stampinup.net. You can just search. Um, I would search pumpkin, not paper pumpkin. Because paper, the word paper will bring up every all the paper they have. But if you search pumpkin, you'll get, you know, anything with the color pumpkin. But like the ink and the paper and all that. But, but you'll it'll be less of a list so you can search and usually um it's like around the 22nd so maybe tomorrow over this weekend maybe monday um they post they update the paper pumpkins and they put on there um any more i should say refill kits or if they have any spare paper pumpkins now um i got three of these and i already sold one of them and one's for me I have one left. I might keep it. I haven't decided yet. Um, but anyway, so this one is making nine cards. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. So I have nine envelopes. Look how cute these envelopes are. I love when they decorate this, this part of the envelope because when they put the color on the inside, you know, the person really doesn't see it because they rip it open and they're not going to go inside and look. So um, I think that the flap is the best way for them to decorate an envelope. Um, okay, so it's Daffodil Delight ink, and you always get an ink spot. So back to if you don't know what Paper Pumpkin is. It's a craft kit. A lot of times, most of the time, they are cards, but sometimes they aren't. Like um, October and November will be the Christmas ones. So you need to sign up by October 10th or October 11th um, or November 10th to get those kits. And they're always really good ones. And um, usually, I think, I don't know whether it's October or November, but one of them is usually like cards. Um, no, I'm sorry. Tags or gift boxes or something like that. And the other one is uh, Christmas cards. But anyway, so it comes to your house and you don't need anything but maybe your scissors, a pair of paper snips. I like to, um, they put everything together with glue dots. I like to have my adhesive runner handy but otherwise everything's in the kit if it needs dimensionals they're in the kit if it needs like this one came with um this is tear and tape and this has glue dots so it comes with everything it comes with the ink spot your first one you will get a um stampin up uh, um, an acrylic block it will be similar to this it'll be this size a size d it'll be about half the width that's it's not as um nice as the ones that you can buy but you'll get one in your first kit and then you just use that one on all your other kits, right? Well, every month you just save that. And um, you can also, if you like doing this, if you find that you like stamping, you can go online and purchase. This is the D block. And I would say if I had to pick one stamp, I mean one block to use, if I could only afford one block, it would be the D. And I don't think they're that expensive. I forget how much it is, but um D is a, is a good block. You want, they come in different sizes. Like this is the smallest one and the largest it's in my pile there, but it's about this big. Um, but it's best to have a, a block with the size of your stamp because that way you don't tip too much, but paper pumpkins are designed. All their stamps will fit on the D block like this little star fish, right? I would put it on, a, um, a, this is the A block. I would put on an A. This one here, I might put on a B or a C. Um, but even these long sentiments, they're meant to go at a diagonal on the D block. All right, but we do have a long, narrow block. Well, this one has some stamps on it, but this is the H block, which this is a good block. This is, I have some um, stamps on it because I am going to be doing my July Virtual card class. I just finished with my um, regular card class to go. 
Usually it goes to the 15th of the month, that one, but um, I did it all the way to the 20th because bonus days started on July 6th. So I shifted it. So now um, this one will be only 10 days. I'll be going live next week, either Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday night, probably Tuesday or Wednesday. If I had to say one, probably Wednesday because I have an appointment late afternoon on Tuesday. But anyway, I will be going live with the virtual card class and I'll be making, um, I believe, four cards. And if you shop with me between June, July 21st and the 31st and use this host code, this is my new host code. The other one ended yesterday. Um, shop with me, only a $35 order, second half of the month, and you'll get the kit to make the cards. There are no written instructions. Um, they're just, you just watch me make it. I will send you the kit. I will send you the path back to the, I'll go live on Facebook, but then I upload it to YouTube and I will send the kit with the link to the YouTube video because some people don't use Facebook, but, um, and, and I, I advertise this in my, um, on my mailing list. So if you're not on my mailing list, you can go to GadonnasCreativeSpace.com and there's a button to sign up for my email list. All right. So anyway, so let's look at these stamps. So it comes every month. I told you, you could go online. You can go to DonnasSingleton.StampingUp.net and you could buy a three month subscription, a six month subscription or a yearly subscription. And all three of those will count towards the bonus days because right now bonus days is you spend $50 and you get a um, on product and you get a $5 coupon that you can spend in August. And I believe the um, three month subscription is it's over. It's way it's over $50. Maybe it's 60 something. It's a little cheaper each um, increment. Three months um, is cheaper than the monthly because you can just sign up for one month and you can sign up for one month and you can pause it for the summer if you go away and you don't want to do it and then you could oh louise 35 not 50. yes my second half of the month is 35 ellie but if you want to throw in the extra 15 if you need something like dimensionals or you might want to add up to uh 50 then you'll get the five dollar coupon that you can use in august but this second half of the month is 35. first half was 50, which you uh, placed in, yeah, you got, you're getting my um, card class to go. That was the Darling Details cards. That's eight cards and that's written instructions and a private video. So that's 50, you spend $50 and you get that for free. This, the, the, this one here will be four cards, uh, one of each. And then you, so you only have to send 35. All right. Um, okay. So you get everything in these kits. Sometimes they're, I don't know, home deck. Not very often, though. Uh, most of the times, like I said, they're, they're cards. But anyway, this one is super, super, super cute. And when you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you can go online. You have access to buy past kits and past refills. So the refill would be everything but, um, like, you know how when I opened up, this was separate? The stamp, the ink and the stamp were separate. This was all, all this was um, in shrink wrap, right? That's the refill. This is what you would get, right? This whole thing here. This is your refill kit, all right? So if you go online, uh, like if they have extra of these, they'll put them online soon. So you can keep checking. Um, just go to, uh, you know, my regular website, donnasingleton.stampinup.net. And if they have extras of these, these will be on there. And you can buy just the refill because you'll already have the stamp set and the ink. Um, but that's how Paper Pumpkin works. You can go on today and see what they have available. And they also will have available the, um, if there's anything coordinating, if they came out with like a, I don't know, a set of cards and envelopes that you could use with the stamp set. But that's how they come. And if you have any other questions about it, you can reach me um, via email. You can go to donnascreativespace.com and you'll see my all my contact information is there. Cut finger. Oh, I had, a, I had, um, are you talking about my Band-Aid? <laughs> you don't miss a trick. Yeah, I no, it's not a cut finger. Um, I broke the nail and it's really deep on one side. So I I put a Band-Aid on it because I keep snagging it on things. And I will end up with a tear, torn nail or something. All right, so let's go back to this. 
All right, so I'll go this way first. So we have Waving Hello, and these are all exclusive stamps of the Paper Pumpkin. And the best thing is you just hang on to these, and you can make all your own cards. You don't have to, um, after you're done with the making the kits, the kit, you can use these for something else. <laughs> My little sad face. I'm okay, Ellie. It's only a fingernail. All right, Waving Hello, I See Brighter Days Ahead. Oh, I like that one. Sending an Ocean of Love. Hello, Sunshine. Relax, You Deserve It. Sending sunshine to colon. Hmm. And then uh, wish you were here. What else did I miss? Wish you were here. Oh, and sorry, I was crabby. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> sorry, I was crabby. Starfish and then a sun. All right, so those are the, those are the stamps that come with this. You'll need the uh, a D block that came with your first kit. Or maybe you have all these extra ones. All right, this is absolutely gorgeous. I just, I can't wait to, these are fun folds. This is going to be fun. Now it comes with this ink spot. And this is another great thing to get the paper pumpkin for. Because every month you'll get a different ink spot. And you get to try different colors. Like I think last month, or I don't know, there was a, uh, one of the kits. Maybe it was one of our exclusive online kits. Because that's, that's another set of kits we have. They're called online exclusives. And they're similar to paper pumpkin. But everything's contained in the kit. If there's if it if you have to ink, you'll get the ink spot and a block in every single kit. Very similar idea. And it's a great way to, to check out a color. So if you don't have Daffodil Delight, you get to try it this month. And if you like it, you can go ahead and buy the, the full size, which I am going to use my full size. So I pulled my big one out. And like I said, I pulled out my um, D block because... It's much easier. I like using the Stampin' Up! blocks, the, the full-size blocks, because they kind of, I don't know if you can see this on the screen, but um, it's got like a ridge all the way around. So it's kind of a great, you can grab it, pick it up easy enough, and hold on to it because it's got this indentation all the way around. It's kind of ergonomic. All right, so let's see what we have. These are the cards. It comes with directions. So we have a, a roll of tear and tape. And if you like this stuff, we sell it. So you can use it on your other cards, and it, it comes in a nice big roll like this. But for the paper pumpkin, they just give you whatever the amount you need for the, the kits. All right, and I'm going to go put on one more light. I see a shadow. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm going to put on my overhead light. I don't know if that's any better or not. All right, maybe. I was just seeing a shadow on my end. All right, so we have glue dots. So those are the two adhesives we're using in this. And then they gave us these little, these little clear, oh, they're just little clear dots and they're self-adhesive. They're like, they're not rhinestones. I don't know if you can see that, but they're see-through. They're little clear dots. And let's see. So I showed you the envelope. So oh, let's go from the, oh, Look at these dropping off the bottom. All right, so we have, and as I show you, I'm going to cut out one of everything because I know we're going to need one of every, at least one of everything. So we have these little, everything is like laser cut for you, which is another thing I like. So look at all these great things. We have a starfish, some sunglasses, um, a little, I don't know if that's a, I guess that's a clamshell maybe, some flip flops crab I was gonna say lobster but I caught myself and then we have these labels that are for us to um, stamp our sentiments on so we have two sizes of this banner and they usually give you one extra one in case you make a mistake all right so we have that we have that I'm gonna put this back in the box and oh gosh this you guys this is going to be adorable so we have um this looks like sand right yeah beachy and then we have this oh, gosh oh i wish i bought more of these and i i i sold one already i kind of wish i didn't because now i want to make all of them for myself all right so there's the card base so we have nine three of these all right. Oops, some more cutouts. Oh, so let's see this one here. Um, did they? I'm trying to see if they um, cut these to go with. I don't think. 
I don't know which one that, oh yeah, this goes with the yellow. So let's see, maybe, did they cut things to go? No, it doesn't look like, I thought maybe they cut them, they packaged them so that they were all um, separated correctly. Like these two go together, maybe, maybe not, we'll see. And, but I only need one of everything. So here's another card base. These are fun folds, this is, this is gonna be fun. More die cuts. Yeah, it's all mixed in. I thought that maybe they would have put, they probably do whatever they can fit on a page. Gosh, these are absolutely, I love this kit because it's so nice and bright. Ellie, you got yours, right? The piece goes with sir, that piece. Yeah, pro, yeah, I'm gonna figure all that out in a second. Once I get them all punched out, I'll, um, cause I'm gonna put together one of each, oops. So this will be interesting. And and the last card base, so now it's cut and it's all scored for us. All right, and what else, what else? All right, we have some more, oops, we have, ooh, look at this. If you don't love this, I mean, gosh, oh my goodness, this is so cool. I can't wait to put this together. Oh my gosh, look at that. All right, so we have that, and this is just more of those. Okay, I'm going to put all the extras away. Normally, if I was making this um, myself, like with not on on. I was going to say on TV, not on camera, not recording. I would do all of them at once. So now I'm going to separate them or try to anyway. So this one looks like, let's see. So I think the skinny side is on the left. So this is the middle one. This one looks like, oh my goodness, how come I can't tell? I think... Wow, this is crazy. This is hard to, this little sun, where does this go? Let me see. All right, so let's do this. I'm gonna fold it so I can see it better. So this is gonna end up being a step, a step card. It's it's a, um, what do you call this? A, a split step card, right? So this one is gonna be folded regular because normally it would be folded like this, but we are gonna make the step card. So the best way, the easiest way to figure out how to do this is you know this first piece is going to be flat. So let's make our first step and then we'll fold it again. We're going to just like a pair, like a set of stairs and then that one and then that one. Let's see. Am I right? Um, I could be wrong. Let's see. Step, step. No, I think that's it. Am I right? Wait a sec. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm wrong. Hang on. I think that's how it goes, right? Step, step. Oh, no, wait. Step, step. Nope, oh, I was wrong. Just like this. Nope. Oh, my goodness. That is going to be in the back like that, I believe. No, because that is just like that. Let's see. Oh, there's another. Oh, I'm sorry. There's another fold. That's why I couldn't figure it out. All right. So. Make a, make a set of stairs. I just didn't see that other score line, silly me. Okay, so there we go, all right? You'll see in the end. And you're gonna end up being like, it's like a extended W. There's a W in the middle with two flaps. Maybe that will make sense to you guys. All right, so that's the first one. I'm gonna do this one. So um, again, this will be the regular fold of a card. All right, so we have a, this first step and I'm only folding this side. Then we go back like this, just go every other. And then there's that little one that I, I missed on the other card. And then we go back again, all right? And then we do this last one, all right? So you end up, when you're done, you should have on this side, a W in the center, right? Can you see that? W and then two flaps. So if you had these two flaps, so it's like an extended W, like one, two, three mountain peaks, three tenths. Yes, I said mountain peaks, Ellie said tenths. All right, so, so that's the first one. First step from the front. And I'm only so, doing this side of the card, right? And then the next one goes like that. And then the next one goes like that. 
So just keep going every other. And in the end, you will have your W, right? And I'm going to go in and I'm going to very carefully do each of these folds. Okay, both sides. All right. So we have that one. Fold, fold, and the inside fold. This fold, I'm going to turn it over. We get this. Okay. You finally got it, Ellie. Why were you having a hard time figuring this out? Well, it took me a minute. It is a little confusing, but I'm sorry I'm going off the... i got to keep watching the screen because I didn't mean to go off the image. Okay. Cards are all folded. So let's see. I am going to... Let's follow the directions. That might be good. Hmm. Am I too close? Maybe I should... Um, yeah, so, so Ellie called it tenths. But yeah, it's like three mountains, right? Medium, small, and the big one. It's like an extended W. W with the flaps. And the other side is just your regular card, right? That's called a um, split step card. All right, so let's do card number one. I have all my supplies over here. Let's see what I need. So this card we're going to do is this one, this first one here. That looks like this. It's kind of got the pool party. All right, let me get these out of the way. All right, so it's the pool party base and these clouds on the side. All right, so we already folded it. We have to stamp, hello, sunshine. Let me find this little one. And I'm gonna pull in my stamp and pierce mat because these are Photopolymer, whenever you have photopolymer, you should have some sort of cushion under you. It could be, this is a stamp and pierce mat. Sorry, I'm gonna to try to stay up here. A stamp and pierce mat. Um, it could be a, a, a magazine, a pad of paper, as long as it is some cushion, because this doesn't have a cushion like um, a red rubber stamp. You know, our red rubber ones have that little bit of gray foam. This doesn't have anything, so we're going to use a cushion behind us, and we're going to stamp, hello, sunshine, just like that. And you know what? I am going to really quickly, I think, so that I can put these together at another date. I am going to, because I can stamp pretty quickly. And like I said, they give you one extra. So I am opening up. I'm not going to create all the cards with you. I'm just going to see if I can stamp real quickly these Hello Sunshine. And of course, one of them is going to be um, blank. Sorry if my head gets in the way. I'm just going to, I think I'll do all four. I like the. Hello, sunshine. Okay. And done with that, I'm going to close this up. I don't think we have... Do we have any other stamping to do? Doesn't look like it. So I need one of these. I'm going to put the rest off to the side. Uh, they are ripping up my street. They're replacing the water main. So if you hear... All kinds of noise in the background. That's why. Oh, look at this little. He's got, look at that. His little claws are split open. So we need that and that. So we are putting, <laughs> this is cute. We're putting this sign in. Where's the front of this? I think we're putting this. Yeah, we're putting the, um, oh, this is going to be adorable, guys. We're putting the sign in here so he's holding the sign so it looks like so we're going to put the sign in here and then we're going to they are showing glue dots right i'm going to put a little glue dot on the on the tip of his 
Um, for, now, for using these, I never used to like these glue dots, but now I like them because now I know how to use them. Because before, oops, I was trying to put the, the paper on them. Now I use my Take Your Pick tool. And let me see, I gotta move up so that you guys can see this. Now I use my pay, Take Your Pick tool. And that one just went flying. Oh, but the, the glue stayed. All right, that's good. So I'm just following the instructions and they're showing you just getting this, this part ready. So I'll take off this top one, All right? And I'm gonna stick my Hello Sunshine in his little claws, but I'm not gonna, um, try, I'm gonna try to do it low enough so I don't block my, hope I got the, there, hello sunshine, just like that. So that he's not, um, I'm not blocking my sentiment, see that? Cute, right? This is adorable, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, then it tells us to take, I think it's this piece, no. Which piece is it? Yeah, it's this piece and to put adhesive. And we also need the this one. So we need one of the, we, we need the this piece here that's got this little kind of, I don't know, little brown thing on it. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's the shadow of the claw, crab. Then we need the um, surfboards. I'm turning them upside down, just like the picture, right? And then we need a starfish and clamshell, all right? And um, if you can see by this, these little dots show, oop, these little dots mean glue dot, and this strip with this little swirly, and that's the spool of um, tear and tape. All right, so tear and tape is gonna go along the bottom of this piece here, Right, and it's gonna go on the bottom of this piece. All right, and then it's gonna go on, hmm, let's see, this blue piece here. This is closed and it shows a piece here. Wait a sec, is this right? Oh, you know what we need? We also need the this palm tree with this, yes, this one here. Sorry, guys, I'm still trying to figure, we need this piece here. But I don't see them showing it. Hmm, they didn't show this on, oh, well, they did. But they really didn't show that step, so I'm showing you the step. <laughs> this is a little confusing, but we'll get through it together. All right, so let me just see what this is going to do. This is going to go here, right? And then the crab. Oh, I think the crab with this is going to go on here. I think he's going to go on this inside piece, right? Yeah, I think he's going to get glued. Oh, yeah, because he's got, yes. That's how it's gonna go, just like that, all right? So, they don't show this, but we need to put some on this piece, and that's where I was getting confused because I don't see this on there, unless it's somewhere and I don't see it, but I'm putting that, a piece on the bottom, and then they have two pieces on this piece here, okay? Just like that. All right, so first things first, I'm going to take this piece off and these two pieces all right I'm just checking something this can be confusing so I hope that um, I'm not confusing you more I hope that maybe you know this the, the other cards will get a little bit easier <laughs> Why isn't that coming up? Okay. All right, I just had to get that in. All right, so this piece, so I put a, we're putting a bot on the bottom of the piece that we're putting down and we're gonna line this up. It's gonna sit right in this and it's gonna go right in that little last step. We're gonna match up the sides because we don't wanna see them, right? 
Whoops, hang on. Hang on, I didn't get it down low enough. Oh yeah, yeah. I should open it. That's what I'm going to do next time. All right, so I'm going to line up the bottom. Bear with me. Oops, my tape started to come up. It's going to sit right down on that. Line up your edges. Okay, that's better. All right, we didn't put anything on the top because we want that to stick up. So when it's sitting there, right? And now the little crab, where'd he go? Well, let's put this first one. This, this one goes... This one goes, oh, I see. This one goes here on this piece, all right? So we didn't, it didn't tell us to put anything on the top of that. But this does go there, right? Yeah. Oh my goodness. See, I do this as an unboxing so that I'm as excited as you guys, <laughs> but maybe I shouldn't. So this is, this is a smaller piece, so it's a little bit easier to handle. So that's going to go in there against that second step, just like that. See that? No, it's not. Did I do that wrong? No, that's right. And then the surfboard, where we put the surfboard, surfboard is going to go right here. That's, look at that. Isn't this cool? I love this. All right, so the surfboard I'm going to put a little piece up here. It doesn't say to, but I'm going to put an extra piece there just for a little stability. Oh, it says to put a glue dot in this. Let's see. This right piece here. All right. So let me take these off. All right. And this is going to go on the front. I'm going to put it flat just to line it up. Oh, my gosh. You guys, this is so cute. Look. Whoops. Oh, the glue dot's there. Look at how cute this is. Now, did I lose my crab? He is going to go. We want to put him high enough. So his little, um, oh, my God, this is so cute. I'm going to take off the backing on the two glue dots. This is why I never liked these things until I started using my take your pick tool with them. What's the question mark? What do you, you have a question, Ellie? I want to make sure I'm putting him in so that he's kind of poking up. I want to see everything, but I want to see him peeking out just like that. Oh my God, this is so cute. Ellie, did you have a question or you just, um, I don't know. So I'm going to put a dot, glue dot on both of these. But this is ever since I, I, I don't know. I just wasn't using my take your pick. Well, at first, we never had the pick, take your pick. We did have a poker tool. Good job with that brown piece. Good job with the brown piece. Okay. Thank you. Not sure which brown piece. Maybe the inside piece. All right. So these are just going to go right in this area here. Just a little decoration. Look, oh, you guys, this is so cute. And we gotta, we gotta put our bling on. Let's see if this works with this. I should take this. Well, actually, I don't know. I think you can see better with this behind it. So we're just gonna put some of this bling on. This is clear bling. It has one over there. You can put them wherever you want, or you can put them wherever. Stamp it up, put them. But oops, stuck to my putty. Oh my gosh, look at that. Now you can't see this but it stands up let me see if i can do it like this this is how it would sit on somebody's mantle right is that can you guys see that kind of is that not the cutest thing but that's how it would sit and then it folds up nicely and it will fit in in this envelope with the pretty with the pretty um oh my gosh guys this is gorgeous okay Next one, let's see if I can get this a little bit faster now that we know how to do everything. All right, so number second card is the one with, let's see, this cloud, all right? This is the clouds, and we are going to stamp on these little these little pieces here, 
All right, I'm going to do all four because I do sell my cards at craft fairs. So I have my, um, I have my stamp and scrub off to the side. If you guys aren't familiar with this, some people like to use the chamois, and I use the chamois also. But when I'm home, I like using this. And in all my classes, I use this. Because the stamp image, there's a wet side and a dry side. There's a little raindrops. There are raindrops in that corner and a sun there, signifying wet and dry. I put a little, um, with my Dymo label maker, um, wet and dry so that I don't have to... Uh, it's just easier. And then um, you just use Stampin' Mist. And you you scrub on the wet side. And then you just dry it on the on the left side. On the right side. So I'm going to put this back. And I need Relax. Let's see. There's a couple of different things. What was the other saying? Wish you were here. No, I'm not going to do Wish I'm going to do Relax. You deserve it on all of these. And like I said, you should use a smaller. If you have different stamp uh, block sizes use the smaller ones if you have them because that way you um you won't rock sometimes when you tip when you use a bigger um block you can end up getting the edges of your block in the stamp pad i do that all the time if i use too big a block i'm trying to be real steady when i'm inking this i do tap 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 okay and I always I try to remember to close this. I've dropped cards right on an open ink pad. And um, that's washed and dried. I'm going to only need one of these. So put these off to the side. That way I can uh, I can assemble the rest of them. Okay, so we need the chair. We need the chair. And we're going to be putting adhesive on that. Let's see. We're going to take this. And with the card folded like this, we're gonna put two pieces of tear and tape. Gosh, I have all the little backings. Let me get rid of this. Um... Oops. Okay, we're gonna put tear and tape. Let me just do it this way. Here, it says two of them. All right, and you need a piece on the chair, right? Let's see, there's a, sometimes there's a side that looks brownish because of the way, way it's, way it's um, laser cut. So I'm gonna see which brown side. Oh, we're gonna do that, that big one with the umbrella. So I'm gonna take this and turn this upside down. Turn this upside down. But something else is missing. Oh, this step, they don't tell us this step. So this is gonna go in here. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put, they're not showing it, unless I'm missing it somewhere, but I don't see it anywhere. So I'm gonna put one on the end, on the bottom, and this is gonna sit right in here like we did the other card, right? So it's gonna end up looking like that. So I'm gonna add that right away. Okay. And the reason we're putting two on here and not putting all of them on this piece is that if we go too high, it might show in the back. So this is how they're telling us to do it. So this way we know we're not gonna go over the edge because um, see this, the bottom it would be here. We could put one down here instead of on here, but you just don't wanna add, you know, just kind of like, what do you call it, wing it on the backing part because you don't want that. You don't wanna see adhesive on the back here. All right, so there's that piece. Yay. Okay. And now it says to put, oh, we need the sign too. So we're going to put a piece across here. Oops, I went a little high. I'm going to just bend it a little. And then we need a piece on the sign. Like that. And I'm just going to put a piece. Let's see. This is going to go on here. Um, yeah, I can put one a little bit higher. It doesn't say two, but I have that extra piece. All right, so now we're going to put two glue dots on our sentiment. And then that's going to get, oh, we do need flip-flops too. But two 
this is going to go, oh, you guys, this is so adorable. This is going to go, I know I keep saying it, but somebody, you know what will happen? I'll have a troll saying, and he keeps saying it's adorable. We know it's adorable because I can't help it. I get excited. That's why I like doing this with you guys, because then I get to see, um, because that's that. So the chair, let's see, the chair is going to go on going to go on the inside one or the back i think it's going to go on the inside one yes all right so let's put this piece on this is the umbrella so we can see where the chair is going to go because i'm going to put the sign on after the um this is going to go on the front so i'm going to lay it flat Ellie, are you making this while you're watching, or are you just watching and you'll do it later? Oh, this is so cute. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I forgot. I was supposed to put a glue dot on the umbrella, but that's okay. Oops, that one didn't come off. Come on. Done. All right. Okay. All right. Let me get rid of some of these pieces. Oh my goodness. All right. Now the chair. We have to put some flip flops on it, but I'm going to first put the chair down. This tear and tape doesn't work as good as our regular tear and tape. I don't know why I'm having a problem with it. So the chair is going on this inside piece, and I'm going to position it. It looks like it's up a little, it's not completely flat, right? So, um, right, maybe like that, I guess. Yeah, that looks good, All right? And then we need to flip flops. Flip flops have two glue dots on them. Just watching my craft here is downstairs with D and our craft. Oh, okay. Yes, you can always play this again. Oh, I think I was supposed to put them a little lower. Let's see, these are gonna go, oh no, maybe the, yeah, maybe it won't matter. I'm gonna put another one, just in case. All right, so. Then this looks like it's gonna go on the corner of the chair. Now, which way would you do it? Down like that or up? I think I like the flip-flops up. They have them going down, but I'm doing them going up. And they're off to the side, just like that, so that I want to see the tips of them. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. There's my flip-flops. I put them in a different direction than Stampin' Up. Um, oh, may, were they supposed to be... No, I guess that's it. I'm just trying to look at the other one. We had the lobster on the inside one. Oh, maybe the chair. Oh, you know what? The chair was supposed to... Oh, oh. All right, hang on, hang on. I can get this off. The chair was supposed to be, huh? No problem. The chair, I think it will still work. The chair was supposed to be on this second indent. That's why it, it looked a little different. All right, so it's gonna, was it? I don't know. If I put it, Maybe it wasn't. No, it wasn't supposed to be, was it? I don't get this. No, I guess it's supposed to be. Huh. Well, mine's going on the back. I think I'll put the flip-flops on the middle piece, maybe. Maybe that's what they are trying to do. It's a little confusing. But no one is going to see... See, if I put it up high, yeah, I think it's going on the back like that, right? That's how I had it. I'm just putting it back. I don't know if it's supposed to go there, but I'm putting it back there, and I'm going to put my flip-flops on this in-between piece. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, my flip-flops are going there, right? I guess. I don't know. I'm going to take off a glue dot because 
This is a little confusing. I know Ellie wrote me and said that she was hoping I was going to do a video on this. But there's the flip-flops. You can see the tips of them. And the sign's going to go over here. So the sign just has the stuff on the bottom. This is really, really cool. I like this a lot. So this is going to go here. I want to be able to see my flip-flops. So I'm just going to line up on the edge. Oh, I can still see my flip-flops. I might move them over a tiny bit. There. Oh my gosh, that is cute. Now, I'm not sure if the, the chair is supposed to go on this back piece or the flip-flops. I don't know, but that's how I did I did the chair in the back, then the flip-flops. Kind of like, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I think the chair was supposed to go on this also, but it doesn't seem like it would be high enough because they put the um, tape on this part. But if I put this here, it the tape didn't stick to this this in between step. You make it a lot less confusing. Oh, <laughs> I hope so, Ellie. But I put my chair on the back because it wasn't. If I put the legs down on this step, it wasn't high enough. So I put the flip flops on the in between piece. All right, so let me show you. That's how it looks from up above. And if this was sitting on someone's mantle when they received this, this looks like a great, um, that's what it would look like on their mantle. Isn't that adorable? Oh, you know what we forgot? We forgot the bling. Okay, so let's put, oh, no, we forgot a couple of things. I need, I need another clam and... Yeah, another clam, and I need the, uh, some more sunglasses. So let me get another pair of sunglasses, right? And, um, oh, I did punch. Huh, did I punch it out already? I don't know, it fell out. And I need a clam, another clam. All right, so, oh yeah, there's, a, there's sunglasses sitting there. Okay, all right, guys. I don't know. I got stuff all over the place. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, did it all at once. Okay, so we need some, um, I almost put the bling on the back. <laughs> Those are glue dots. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, it's on my finger. Come on. So tomorrow and um, Sunday is supposed to be nice weather up here in Massachusetts. Sunday, the better of the two days. I am hoping I get a chance to um, do something fun with my my honey. And um, we'll see. We've been waiting for a nice... We went to the beach. We went to Salisbury Beach. Um, oh, that's a um, bling. Where did that come from? Came off of here? I'm going to put this over here. We went to Salisbury a couple of Fridays ago. This is going to go sticking right behind the grass. Isn't that cute? Two more pieces of bling I need. All right. Yeah, we went to Salisbury, and it was hazy all day, and we couldn't figure out why, because the weather report said it was supposed to be nice. And it turns out that um, I guess it was hazy because of the wildfires that were going on. There we go. So now we have the bling on that. Is that not the cute car? Oh my God, these guys are so cute. Okay, next one. The last one is, oh yeah. Did I put, no, I don't, I'm, I'm, I punched out, I, some sunglasses are missing, but. All right, so this one here, of course, is this last one. And they are saying to put on, they're not saying, they're telling us. In the instructions, it shows us that we are going to put adhesive, two things of adhesive here. That worked out good. All right, and that is, this is going on the back. So I need one thing of this. Now I kind of get what's going on. See, this is, this, this is what was confusing, and maybe this is what confused you, Ellie, is that... Um, they really didn't explain this piece here. They tell you to do that, and then they show a picture of that piece on there, but they didn't tell you to do, to put the tape on the back of this piece. 
There's no um, in, nothing in the instructions. So sometimes it's good to watch someone put it together. Even though I'm struggling, hopefully my video helps you. If you are watching my video on Facebook or or YouTube, because this I load this to YouTube afterwards, I'd love a um, if you're not subscribed already to my. Um, YouTube channel. If you're watching it on YouTube, I'd love you to subscribe. I'm trying to build my subscription list. You know, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, whether you're here on um, Facebook or on YouTube. Okay, so now we have to put. This is going to go on the second thing. I um, oh, they're the sunglasses. I did poke out sunglasses. All right, so this one. Oh, we didn't do our. Um, we didn't do okay this is go this is a little different no this is the same this is the bottom i just have it upside down all right and i have this other little piece i'm just gonna i love this tear and tape okay all right last time i stamped at the beginning this time i'm gonna stamp at the end i'm gonna get all this done so this is gonna go on the middle one right um, they didn't tell us to put another thing of that, so, so we only need one. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is really cute. Okay, and, um, this is going to go on the front. <laughs> I just love these. Oh, you guys. Oh, God. Somebody's going to hate me for saying how much I like these, but... You learned the step fold. Yeah, that's, I think, the biggest thing is to get that out of the way. Oh, um, I'm going to put a glue dot on this also. But yeah, this, using your take your pick tool with this, um, that, I love these. I love these now. These are great. Um, sometimes you get them in a little bit smaller. Let's see, I have some in front of, I have a whole bag I keep, I save them. Sometimes they're a little smaller with the paper pumpkin, and I've noticed these bigger ones have been coming out. I love these small ones. I save them for when I'm doing, um, cards with twine. They go great when you're putting a bow on, like a twine bow. They're nice and small. Uh, these are about the same size as the ones that we sell on the roll. All right, now this is gonna go on here, and that sticky thing is gonna hit just like, it's gonna hold the top of the, oh my gosh, you guys. These are so cute. All right, so I got, let me do some stamping. Let me get these out. And this says, sending an ocean of love. What else do we have? I might not do all of them like that. I see better days ahead. Waving hello. Waving hello might be cute. Maybe I'll do... You know what? Sorry, I was crabby. I'm going to do... I'm going to do two with this one that says... Um, sending an ocean of love. And then I'm going to do... I'm going to do another Hello Sunshine. Um, I see brighter days ahead. I'm trying to think of what, who I could send these to. I'm going to do one, um, maybe two Hello Sunshines. Okay, so let me start with the Hello Sunshine. Actually, let me start with this one, because if I need to, I might have to. And the, Now these stamps, the longer ones, put it at an angle. Unless you have one of the longer um, blocks, but I'm just going to do as if, all right, sending an ocean of love. I think I'll do all three of these cards, sending an ocean of love. Oh, that's a little bit of angle, but that's okay. And then I clean that and I'm going to do one hello sunshine. I'm not, I'm going to save this tag for something else. I just wanted to make sure I could get both of them, at least three. So you, so that's what you learned from me today, Ellie, the folding. Yeah, we kind of had to 
I hadn't done it, so it was a learning lesson for myself. So I'm glad that we have it all done. Okay, so stamping is all done. I'm gonna put this these extras aside. This one and this one and this one. And the sunglasses I poked out. I hope I have sunglasses elsewhere also. Okay, almost done with this one. I just have all these dots. I don't have Misty around. Usually Misty ends up with these little pieces all over her. Poor Misty. I miss her. Do you guys miss it? hearing her in the background? Remember when I'd be talking to you guys? I think she thought I was talking to her and she would meow. She'd come in here and meow. All right. I need a starfish. A starfish. Just a starfish. Okay. All I need for this card. And a glue dot. Now it is saying to put the this banner. We're going to put the banner on. Oh, we're going to put the banner on with this. Okay. A little misty. Yeah, a little misty. I miss her a lot. It's been, let's see, November. I put her to sleep day after my birthday. I had to make the decision on my birthday and I couldn't put her to sleep on my birthday. I couldn't have that done. But um, So November 2nd, I had the vet come right here to my house and she was with me and my son at the very end. She was sick. We had her for gosh, um, I don't know, 16 years. Now, if you have dimensionals, you could put this piece up on dimensionals if you wanted. But this, they just have it down with these glue dots. So I'm going to do my other ones I might put on dimensionals. But yeah, so it's been November, December to January. Oh gosh, six months? Oh no, it's more, eight months? I miss her. The house is so quiet without her. All right, and now we're just going to put some bling and we'll be done. So put one, oops, it's funny. It's like these, they're like, they're kind of rubbery. They're not like hard plastic, these little clear things. I'm going to hold this up in a second so you can see. Oops, did I not pick one up? Oh, I think I dropped it. It's like they're sticking to my... I mean, they're supposed to stick to this, but they don't come off. Look at that. Cute. All right, so let me show you. That's it standing up, right? And now I'm going to tip it. Look at that. That's if somebody were um, looking at on your mantle... Right? That's how it would look. Let me see, I'm, I'm too far away. Oh, 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 That's how it would look on your mantle, just like that. On their mantle, I should say. Right, cute, right? Just like that. So there's one, that's the third one we made. This is the second one we made. Oops, there. And the first one we made with the crab holding that all the sunshine. I love this one. Whoops. So that's what it would look like. It's it's hard to show you what it would look like because my camera's head on. So I'm kind of trying to hold them sideways. But that's how they look. So those are our three cards for this paper pumpkin. And I'm going to kind of like um, flatten them a little bit so you can kind of see them a little bit. So how's that? These are so cute. I hope you enjoyed the hope you enjoyed watching this and figuring it out with me. And um, don't forget if I have my next special going on, like I said, it'll probably be next one night next week. I'll be doing a virtual card class. It will be here on Facebook. You're welcome, Ellie. It'll be here on Facebook and then I'll upload it to YouTube. And when you get your kit, there'll be no written instructions. You just have to refer back to the virtual card class. I'll be making four Christmas cards. And um, you will get the um, path to the video. So you don't have to go back searching for the video. You'll, I'll give you the path right in the, right in the um, card kit. All right, so these were the cards. These are them folded up. Oh, my goodness. They are adorable. I'll say that again. And any trolls want to make fun of me for saying... 
that they're adorable. You can go ahead. And um, I don't care. I don't care. I'll just ignore you, like Ellie said. Just ignore them and move on. All right. That is this month's Paper Pumpkin. This is July's Paper Pumpkin Fun in the Sun, July 2023. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. On If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. I'm so funny. <laughs> oh, about telling the trolls not to say anything? They can, they can make their comments if they want. But you know what? It's not easy for people to... Uh, it's not easy for me to come on and do these videos. I can't speak for everybody. Some people are really good at this. I'm not so much. But anyway, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And I will see you next time right here on Donna's Creative Space. And that's the name of my business, Donna's Creative Space. You can find me. My blog is Donna's Creative Space. Pinterest, YouTube, and right here on Facebook. So, and my, yeah, my blog. I already said my blog. So take care, guys. Have an awesome weekend. Enjoy the weather here in Massachusetts anyway. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.